Hey guys, so welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am going to be reviewing this eyeshadow palette right here. And this is the Too Faced Too Femme Ethereal Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. It looks like this. Very pretty butterflies. And I am going to begin by swatching it, then I'm going to be doing three looks with it. And finally, I'm going to give you my opinion on this eyeshadow palette. So for look number one, I'm going to begin with Soft Landing, and Soft Landing is this shade over here in the corner. I am going to be using that shade on my lid. So look number one is going to be the subtlest of all the looks, I believe. I am now going to be using Pretty Powerful, and Pretty Powerful is this more orangey shade right here on the bottom so i'm going to be using that on my crease now i'm going to be grabbing heart to flutter this big shade up here and i am going to be using that under my brow and I am going to blend it with the one that I have right under, under it. I am going to be grabbing that same pretty powerful and I am going to be using it on my outer corner. So I'm gonna be using it right here. I already have it up here, but I'm gonna be adding it to this outer corner of the lid as well. I am going to be grabbing the first color that I use, which is Soft Landing, and I am going to be adding a little more to my lid. I'm going to be adding Hear Me Roar, and Hear Me Roar is this shade right here, that shimmery shade, and I am going to be adding that to my lid. So first I'm grabbing it with a brush. You can barely tell that it's shimmery at all with the brush. I think you can tell more on this side and I don't know if it's because of the way the light is hitting it. So now I'm going to be grabbing it with my finger. you can tell better with the finger for my bottom lash line I am going to be using pretty powerful again pretty powerful is the orangey shade and I'm going to be lining that area with that shade okay now I am going to be grabbing heart on heart on is this one right there right next to the beige one and it's that shimmery shade and I'm going to be using that shade on my inner corner so I am finished with this eye makeup look so now I am going to 
be doing the rest of my eye makeup and I will be back. All right, so this is finished look number one, soft and pretty. Okay, so on my lips, I have this lipstick right here. This is the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in the shade Cloud Chaser. So now I'm going to go on to look number two. So my donuts are falling off <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that it's gonna be kind of like a guessing game. Uh, how many donuts fall off before the end of this video? I'm going to begin look number two with Make It Rain, which is the minty bluish greenish shade right there. And I am going to be using that all over my lid. Make It Rain, it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's like so eye-catching, ooh pigmented you could actually see it so I'm putting it on my lid by the way um, I did prime my lids with the Milani eyeshadow primer this one right here I waited about a minute and um, yeah now I'm putting on the eyeshadows on top of it now I am going to be grabbing You Give Me Butterflies and You Give Me Butterflies is this shade up here right next to that really dark shade. So I'm going to be using that shade all over my crease and on my outer lid. There's nothing like left on my brush and I'm trying to blend it blend the two shades together like right here at the top just like to diffuse that area so it doesn't look like a harsh line between like one shade and the next okay I'm gonna add a little bit more of that minty one right here to the bottom of it just because I feel like I made a mistake Now I am going to be grabbing um, that same shade, well not that same shade, but I'm going to be grabbing this in the corner right here which is called Hearts A Flutter. And I'm going to be using that right underneath my brow. All right, so every time I use anything underneath my brow and I have another shade underneath, like on the bottom, I have two blend so that's what I'm doing I'm blending the two together so there's no harsh lines so now I will be using meant to be and meant to be is this sparkly greenish shade right there I am going to be using that on my lid on top of the green Now, I am going to be using one of my favorite shades in the whole palette. One of them, because I actually have a couple. So it's called Chrysalis Crush, and Chrysalis Crush is the purple right there. That is a beautiful lavender shade, and I'm going to be using that on my inner corner. And I am also going to be using it on my lower lash line. I am done with the eyes and on my lips I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in the shade Girl Your Wit. And this is finished look number two, Butterfly Flutter. Okay, on to look number three. 
For look number three, I am going to begin with Too Femme. And Too Femme is this shade right here in the center, that hot pink shade. So I am going to be using Too Femme on my lid. I forgot to add my eyeshadow primer. <laughs> I'm adding it lightly by the way, um, but it's pretty pigmented and it's actually going on very well. So that's good. I was kind of scared a little bit because I don't have my eyeshadow primer and I feel like the brush is like gripping onto my lid because what I have underneath is concealer. Now I am going to be using Queen of everything and queen of everything i can hear something on sticking from the wall there you go <laughs> queen of everything is this uh brown shade right there in the corner that's a really long color the one with the butterflies on it so i am going to be using that shade on my crease By the way, um, I am taking out a video where I show you how to make those donuts that are on the wall. So if you're interested in finding out how to make them, stay tuned till maybe in a week or two. I try making donuts with different materials just so I can see what's best. Okay, so now I am going to be grabbing Free To Be Femme and Free To Be Femme is this even darker shade right here. So that's the darkest of all the shades on the pan. And I am going to be using that on my outer crease and my outer lid. I am going to try to be subtle with it. Why does it remind me of Mother Gothel from Tangled? Maybe it's my hair. Maybe it's the makeup. Maybe it's my hair. I don't know. This is what it's looking like right now. And what I'm going to do now is grab another brush that's a little more fluffy. And I am going to blend. So I am... I have this brush right here and hopefully it works because I've been using it um, to put purple eyeshadow <laughs> on that right there. So that's why that looks purple because I put purple eyeshadow. That's all eyeshadow by the way. The cotton candy, it's all eyeshadow. Um, so I hope it's there's nothing left on here. So yeah. I'm gonna be using the shade that I've been using uh, for my under brow, which is that beige shade. I'm gonna be using that like over here. So now I'm going to be grabbing Fiercely Femme. And Fiercely Femme is the one right next to Too Femme, which is this one right here. And I am going to be using that on my lid on top of Too Femme. Now that's supposed to be kind of like a darker shade than the one before, but it's supposed to be a little bit shimmery. I am going now to grab Too Femme again, which is the hot pink, and I am going to be using that on my lower lash line. And last but not least, I'm going to be using Heart On, Heart On, which is this one right there. And that shade is a shimmery shade. It doesn't have much pigment, but it's very shimmery. 
and it's like a dual chrome shade so I'm gonna be using that right here on my inner corner I'm going to finish off this look with two lip products so the first lip product is going to be this wet and wild lipstick and this is in the shade close off and then on top I'm going to be using this right here which is the color pop luxe gloss in the shade come through all right so I am finished with look number three and look number three I have named it mother gothel because that's what it reminds me of so look number this is finished look number three mother gothel Okay, so now for my review. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to compare it to their normal palettes. So this is the Peach Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. It's a tin, it's a tin packaging, just like the rest of their palettes, except for like their um, holiday palettes. So their holiday palettes are usually cardboard. Um, yeah, but their regular palettes are usually tin and so yeah this is what it looks like right but when you compare it to this one right here you see like the size difference with between these two like this is very very small like very long and narrow small narrow and on top of that it is cardboard and I don't no, why didn't they didn't go with something like this instead of something like this when i saw this it reminded me of the essence eyeshadow palettes now this retails for 39 dollars at ulta 45 dollars on the Too faced website last time i saw these from essence retail for what 9.99 and you could use coupons on them all the time and get them from much cheaper so look at this even the essence palette is a lot larger than this right here they're both made out of cardboard if you look at the inside of the essence palette and you look at the inside of this one it kind of reminds me it reminds me of each other now uh, the essence palette does have bigger bigger colors bigger pants but it also has less of them as opposed to this one that has more but they're pretty small i feel like it's very travel friendly because it's so small <laughs> you can't even stick it in your pocket <laughs> so i mean tell me what you think tell me what you think if they should have just gone with the tin or if you like the idea of the cardboard press pigments they will cause irritation on some people and they will also stain your skin uh, sometimes so that's why they can't call it just eyeshadow palette they have to call it eyeshadow and press pigment but on the actual packaging it does not say which one is which the only thing it says right there is that think pink you can only use on the cheeks and that's because it's a very chunky glitter so i didn't use that one today and it's this one right here um it's a very chunky looking shade and i think that's the reason why you're not supposed to be using it on your eyes because it's gonna fall into your eyeball and so yeah use it on your cheeks only or use it somewhere else but this is what it looks like and i think it's super pretty if you decide to use it anywhere on your face i do suggest you use a glitter primer that's kind of like glue to hold the glitter in place okay so um the actual shadows so i do think that these shadows are pretty pigmented and you can see like whenever i was applying them that they were actually going on really well very pigmented i didn't have a problem with any patchiness whatsoever um that green shade i feel like it was just grabbing on to 
all the stuff that I had on my eye, but when I blended it out, it looked fine. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that they go on so smoothly. They are so soft and smooth. Like I was putting them on my eye and I was like, oh my gosh, these glide on so beautifully. Like just like very smooth. I don't feel like there's any drag. Um, again, I said like there's no patchiness. They were not hard to blend. They were actually quite easy to blend together. So I really, really like that. And what else? Lasting power. They like, I feel like all eyeshadow kind of last around the same time, depending on how oily your skin is. And you can help it out by using a, an eyeshadow primer underneath and then using a setting spray on top of it. So that's how you help out your eyeshadows. Beautiful packaging. Um, like the, it has all these butterflies right here. The butterflies are raised. They're embossed. The Too Faced logo is embossed and um, it's a very pretty. So that's all I have to say about this eyeshadow palette today. Aside from that, um, I do have this really nice shirt on and it does have butterflies on it, as you can see, because, you know, I need it to match with um, this eyeshadow palette right here. So with this packaging, so uh, yeah this is from torrid by the way so i just hit the mic i hope it wasn't so loud uh, for now that's it thanks for watching have a great day and stay safe out there bye